Alright, so today we're going to go ahead and test out the re-entry heating without a heat shield uh, on EVE. So we're going to be approaching at interplanetary speeds, and we're going to go ahead, now that we have our encounter at 30,000 meters, warp all the way there. And we are now at EVE's atmosphere. Wow, that was fast. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and start our re-entry here, and you'll see the heating effects in a second. And we're going to see how it goes. Now I turned on the uh, temperature kind of information you can find in the debug menu. So you'll see this menu come up a couple times and you can follow the temperatures for each of the um, kind of parts that I click on. They'll fail somewhere around 2500 or so. Uh, let's see if it happens. like we've made it all the way through Eve's atmosphere and we'll come to a safe landing as long as our parachutes actually fire. Um, yeah, so you do not need a heat shield even for interplanetary atmospheric arrow breaking on Eve. Now I'm just going to go ahead and set it to eight times and go ahead and land on Kerbin. If you guys enjoyed the video and want to check out some more Kerbal stuff, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and there will be more videos in the future.